we know each other for about 30 years. 30 years, surely have. And, um, yes. you know, yes. it was, looked like it was yesterday, yeah? I know, I know. And we've been to many places all over <laughs> the world, haven't we? Yeah. Are well, you always uh, teaching and giving your profession your secret to the new generation? Huh? Yeah. Yes, I had someone that gave me guidance when I first went into the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, a big part of my success was due to her and uh, getting me started on the right track somewhat. And, uh, and I knew how important it was to my career. So that's what's inspired me to help young people. And how are you motivating the, the young people now? Because, you know, the generation, these uh, millennial now, they have, uh, millennial generation, they have, uh, everything had to be fast, everything had to be, uh, you know, cut and dry, and they don't have, let's say, the, too much time to concentrate, like when we were growing right. up in this profession. Right. You have to be very, I think you have to be very quick and you have to be very, or try to be very inspiring to them. Um, motivating them, uh, trying to get them pumped up, uh, give them something to get excited about. Being the, uh, the role model, yes. they mm -hmm. they still so look for that? I do, somewhat. They see how passionate I am about it and it kind of carries over, or you, can carry over. You say something today, if you make something simple for them to achieve, you give, you encourage them to get to that goal. If you do something that is too out of their ways in doing, mm -hmm. and take too much, uh, you know, maybe intimidate them. That's so you, right. know, you put little steps for them to follow and then it causes a reverse of, and uh, that's not good because they they become very, or can become very intimidated, mm -hmm. and uh, that's not good for them. And especially when you're working in groups, I think, and you give them something too difficult to accomplish and they can't excel with it, then there's an embarrassing time that sets in with them that, uh, that can hurt them immensely, and I don't think that's good. I don't think that's so. Good how at is all. how is your teaching method? Like a little bit at the time, you know, achieve this goal. We go to the next step. That's or right. What we that's it. I have found owning a school and working in schools and training so many people. Um, you have to you have to climb a ladder. Uh -huh. I think that's very yeah. important, and. One thing that is crucial, and that is, you can't miss steps up the ladder. You have to, you have to step on each one of them. I, I know you as a competitor, as a judge, as a trainer. Did you achieve all, uh, all your goals in this profession? Well, it's, uh, my goal was to, to produce a world champion, and I did, mm -hmm. and I thought that would be it. But uh, I did take a break, as you well know, for several years, but uh, I just the passion is so bad, I say so bad, that I couldn't resist getting back into it. Uh, what, what motivates you? Mm -hmm. Who is your role model? I don't have one. Um, the motivation comes from the creativity of doing it. That's what it is. It's the creativity of actually doing it. You enjoy uh, when you achieve a different look, you didn't really... Yes. That's uh, it. Feel a big satisfaction. Uh, a great, a great amount of satisfaction from it. Yeah. You want to please yourself before you please the other. Oh yes, yes. I have to be, I have to be pleased with what I show before I ever present it to anyone. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes it can take months. 
to develop a, a design out that I'm truly satisfied with or pleased with. And then once I do that, then I'm ready to go with it, you know. But I have to be, I do, I have to be pleased and satisfied with it myself first. We are very happy to have you in the International Institute of Cosmetology. Our students, uh, they were uh, very happy when, uh, you know, and motivated when we told them you were coming. Uh, I don't know if you have a message to leave for them, you know, so if you're going to say some words, you know, I to will. encourage our, our students to, uh, to motivate them even more. It's, I'll be honest, it's hard to do in this setting, whereas I don't have the faces in front of me, because I do play, I do play immensely off the students. It's amazing, I have found, after I have the first day with them, I will look over the group, and I will put each student in a category, and I know where they where they need help or guidance or they need to be pumped up and I just I, I play it by ear with each student because each student there's no two students alike and I know that so you have to treat each student one-on-one -on -one as an individual and I think in education so many educators don't do that. So did you hear, you student, if you want a word, encouragement, a motivation, you have to attend the class with Rani Hawking. <laughs> so we wait for you, and Rani is all yours. Please enjoy, learn a lot, and make us proud. Thank you. Rani, yes, pleasure to have you here. Yes, it's, it's a pleasure. Great.